Imagine this, you're scrolling through social media and suddenly, you're hit with a wave of anxiety. Your heart races, your thoughts spiral, and you're left wondering why something as simple as a post or a comment could trigger such intense feelings. Sound familiar? You're not alone. Social media can be a double-edged sword, connecting us with others while also contributing to stress, comparison, and anxiety. But what if you could take control of your online life and turn social media into a source of positivity rather than pressure? Today, we're diving into strategies to overcome social media anxiety and build a healthier relationship with the online world. Ready to reclaim your peace of mind? Let's get started. 1. Understanding Social Media Anxiety Before we dive into solutions, it's important to understand what social media anxiety is and why it happens. Social media anxiety is the feeling of stress, worry, or unease that arises from interactions or activities on social platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and others. This anxiety can manifest in various ways, feeling inadequate when comparing yourself to others, stressing over how your posts are perceived, or even feeling overwhelmed by the constant stream of information. One reason social media can trigger anxiety is the nature of these platforms. They're designed to keep you engaged, which often means constantly showing you the highlights of other people's lives. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing your real life with all its ups and downs, someone else's curated online persona. This comparison can lead to feelings of inadequacy, jealousy, and anxiety. Another factor is the fear of missing out or FOMO. Seeing others enjoy experiences, achieve milestones, or even just look happy can make you feel like you're falling behind in life. This constant exposure to other people's successes can create unnecessary pressure and anxiety. Lastly, the anonymity of social media can also contribute to anxiety. Negative comments, online bullying, and the pressure to present a perfect image can all take a toll on your mental health. Understanding these triggers is the first step toward overcoming social media anxiety. Now, let's explore some practical strategies to build a healthier relationship with your online life. 2. Setting Healthy Boundaries The first strategy to overcome social media anxiety is to set healthy boundaries. Without clear boundaries, it's easy to let social media consume too much of your time and energy, leading to increased stress and anxiety. Start by setting time limits on your social media use. Many smartphones have built-in features that allow you to track and limit the time you spend on specific apps. To sigh on a daily limit that works for you, whether it's 30 minutes or an hour, and stick to it. When the time's up, log off and give your mind a break. Next, consider creating specific social media free times in your day. For example, you might decide to avoid social media in the morning so you can start your day without the influence of external opinions. Or you could set a rule that you won't check your phone an hour before bed to help improve your sleep quality. These small changes can make a big difference in how you feel. Another boundary to set is around the type of content you consume. If certain accounts or types of posts consistently make you feel anxious, consider unfollowing, muting, or blocking them. Curate your feed to include content that inspires, educates, or uplifts you. Remember, you have control over what you see. You can also set boundaries around how you engage with others online. For example, if you find yourself feeling anxious about how your posts are received, try shifting your focus from seeking validation through likes and comments to sharing content that genuinely resonates with you. It can also be helpful to limit the number of platforms you use. Focus on the ones that bring you the most value and consider cutting back on the rest. Setting boundaries doesn't mean cutting yourself off from social media entirely. It's about using these platforms in a way that supports your well-being rather than detracting from it. 3. Practicing Mindful Social Media Use Mindfulness is another powerful tool in managing social media anxiety. Practicing mindful social media use means being intentional and present in how you interact with these platforms, rather than mindlessly scrolling or reacting. Start by becoming more aware of how social media makes you feel. The next time you log on, pay attention to your emotions as you scroll through your feed. Do you feel inspired, happy, or connected? Or do you feel anxious, stressed, or inadequate? 
Recognizing these emotions can help you make more informed decisions about your social media habits. When you notice that certain posts or accounts trigger anxiety, take a moment to ask yourself why. Is it because you're comparing yourself to someone else? Are you feeling pressure to present a certain image? By identifying the root cause, you can begin to address these feelings directly. Another aspect of mindful social media use is engaging with content in a meaningful way. Instead of mindlessly liking or sharing posts, take a moment to reflect on why you're drawn to certain content. Engage in conversations that add value, offer support, or build genuine connections. This approach not only reduces anxiety, but also makes your social media experience more fulfilling. Mindfulness also involves setting intentions before you log on. Ask yourself what you want to achieve by going on social media. Are you looking to connect with friends, find inspiration, or stay informed? Having a clear purpose can prevent you from getting sucked into the endless scroll and help you use social media more effectively. Lastly, practice gratitude when using social media. Instead of focusing on what others have that you don't, try to appreciate what you have in your own life. You might even consider sharing posts that express gratitude or highlight the positive aspects of your life. This shift in focus can help reduce anxiety and promote a healthier online presence. 4. Building a positive online community Another key to overcoming social media anxiety is building a positive online community. The people you interact with online can greatly influence your mental health, so it's important to surround yourself with supportive and uplifting individuals. Start by following accounts that inspire you and align with your values. Look for communities that promote positivity, mental health awareness, and self-improvement. Engaging with content from these accounts can provide you with a sense of belonging and support, reducing feelings of anxiety. Participate in groups or forums that focus on topics you're passionate about. Whether it's a hobby, a cause you care about, or just a space where people share positive content, being part of a like-minded community can help you feel more connected and less isolated. It's also important to be mindful of the interactions you have online. Engage with others in a positive and respectful manner, and avoid getting involved in negative or toxic conversations. If you encounter online bullying or negativity, don't hesitate to use the block or mute functions to protect your mental health. Remember, social media is a tool that you can use to create the experience you want. By curating your online community, you can transform social media from a source of anxiety into a space of positivity and support. 5. Taking Digital Detoxes One of the most effective strategies for overcoming social media anxiety is to take regular digital detoxes. A digital detox involves taking a break from social media and other digital platforms to reset your mind and reduce anxiety. Start by scheduling regular detoxes into your routine. This could be as simple as taking one day off social media each week or doing a longer detox every month. Use this time to disconnect from the online world and focus on activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Whether it's spending time outdoors, reading a book, or engaging in a hobby. During your detox, take note of how you feel without the constant influence of social media. Many people find that they feel more relaxed, focused, and in tune with their emotions. This break can also help you gain perspective on your social media habits and recognize areas where you might need to set stronger boundaries or make changes. Social media doesn't have to be a source of anxiety. By setting healthy boundaries, practicing mindfulness, building a positive community, and taking regular digital detoxes, you can create a healthier and more fulfilling online life. Remember, social media is just a tool. It's how you use it that determines its impact on your mental health. The next time you feel anxiety creeping in while you're online, try implementing these strategies and see how they can help you regain control. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tips on managing anxiety and building a balanced life. Leave a comment below with your own experiences or tips for overcoming social media anxiety. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care and remember that you have the power to shape your online experience.